Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of no training. So today is Tuesday, two days on from Outlaw Half. I'm not doing any training today again, I'm having a couple of full rest days. This is my like off season, I suppose, this week. I'm gonna do a bit of training, but I'm really gonna take it as easy as I can. If I go too hard this week and don't recover properly, I'm not gonna be able to make the most of my first few weeks of winter training, and I need to do that. But it's made easy by the fact that that is the weather outside at the minute, so we're not really too tempted to go outside and train. Evening, Elizabeth. Hi. How are you doing? Not too bad, thank you. Got yeah. a bit of a cold. Yeah, you have to turn around and engage with the camera so people feel like they're engaged with you. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yes, you've got a cold, which has meant that I'm keeping your arm's length, aren't I? Yeah. Because I really, really don't want to get a cold. We've actually been sleeping in separate beds. <laughs> it's been brilliant, hasn't it? Last night, the cat spent like, you see, I could feel him jump on the bed with me, spend an hour or so with him, then he'd walk over me to walk out, he'd thud onto the floor, then I'd know that he'd go to like Liz's bed and sleep with her, then he'd be back like an hour later. <laughs> I think he's just splitting his time evenly in between us. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. Um, you don't want to go outside, mate. Anyway, uh, Elizabeth, what is for tea tonight? Um, hot dogs, mushy peas, onion rings, and some broccoli. No, it's not hot dogs, it's proper sausages, isn't it? Well, they're the meat-free, yeah. but it's like, Broccoli. Sausage baguettes. Okay. Get a bit of iron in you. Okay. Excellent. Great. <laughs> um, Liz, what happened yesterday morning, very shortly after you got to work? Oh, the rain was that torrential going from um, where I parked my car in the car park at work just to the building that I work in. I got that wet that um, I attached your ring Daniel to bring me another pair of trousers to work. Oh, and like they were so wet, like it was like I'd just taken a pair of trousers out of the washing machine and put them straight on. I, I couldn't have stayed in those all day. So luckily my knight in shining armour came to the rescue <laughs> with a pair of trousers. Got to score those brownie points, haven't I? Because next, <laughs> next year's race calendar is shaping up nicely. Um, what else was I going to ask you? What's your training plans this week? Uh, three runs again this week. <laughs> Uh, much shorter, my longest run is 8 miles which will be done at the weekend um, and then I've got a 45 minute session with a couple of harder efforts involved um, I think it's 2 times 6 minutes the efforts are mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Matt said to do those obviously quite hard mm -hmm. and then the second session is normally like a race pace effort so it's mainly um sort of aerobic just with like a 10 15 minutes and i can't remember exactly what it is yeah, okay. um, more race pace and then obviously the oh. miles at the weekend well, we're going like 10 days to go now aren't we yeah. just a marathon come on anyway i'm going in the garage now not to do any training but i'll show you what i'm doing in a second okay so here we go then i'm in the wattage cottage send it now, this week for me, although I'm not training, I've still, well, I'm not training much, I've still got a lot of things to do, but I'm going to try and make the most of this week to set myself up for some good training. And that quite simply means removing, removing as many barriers as possible between me getting on the bike, going out for a run, those sorts of things. So this is where I train at the minute, it's the garage. And as you can see, you know, full disclosure, this place is an absolute mess. Um, and that's what I'm going to be sorting. So I figured maybe we'll have a quick look around what I've got in some boxes. Uh, some nutrition, loads of CO2 canisters there on offer, uh, <laughs> sealant injector, cables, brake calipers, uh, they're actually rear lights times four for Red Bull time lapse, um, some nutrition, full steam and a jumper for some reason, uh, some other bits, a chain for the winter bike, some tubes, a bag, some tyres, some more nutrition down there, uh, there's an air bed in that bag, aircon unit that is broken that um, appliances direct keep hassling us to send back but I've fallen out with them. Uh, a Wahoo mat to go with the Lizard's kicker bike. What else have we got down here which was heater that will be being used. Motivational sign I'll be keeping that in here somewhere and then various DIY things on the treadmill and my winter bike is up there. The winter bike's having a complete refresh that's going to be a different video. Uh, cables, tyres, chain, I don't know what else. Basically, just giving it a refresh so it actually works. I haven't ever ridden that bike, actually. Um, yeah, so basically, they're going to make it so that it, I want to be in here. When I come home from work and I need to train, I'm like, oh, great. I can just put my kit on and get on and do what I need to do, particularly the treadmill. And I'm like, oh, tonight, I wouldn't be running, would I? So I'm very lucky to have a treadmill. I need to make the most of it, lube it up, etc. do all that jazz. So uh, I don't know. Have a quick look at that. And then I'll cut my fingers and it's going to be completely transformed. So I did at least... 10 minutes of graph before Liz shot me for tea. Thank you, Liz. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody. 0% rocking on a Tuesday night. 
Um, nearly finished tea. I thought I'd show you this because people like to laugh at me for things like that. I like having things like beans and mushy peas in a separate bowl to the rest of the food because I don't, it freaks me out the thought of that that's wet, like getting like dry stuff like broccoli. Wet? I, I don't know. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> Liz said I should be on some sort of spectrum, but whatever. Anyway, um, what was the point of this clip? I can't remember. I don't really I made know. some sort of joke that we're lifestyle vloggers now, I'm not doing any training. <laughs> i get back in the garage in a minute. That was it. I know what you're going to say. Take your jumper off at the dinner table, Daniel. Well, the temperature in the UK has dropped over the last day or two, but I'm refusing to put the heating on until January. <laughs> so you've got to wrap up and keep busy in this house. I would show Elizabeth, she's literally licking her fingers off the plate. That's disgusting. <laughs> and she's naked, so what can you do? I know, darling, you've had your tea, though. Did I leave the last clip on some sort of click or something? You might not think that looks like much different, but it is. That is all going straight in the recycling. Uh, that is a pile of bike parts which we're going to fit. Other than that, that area is clear. Not quite sure whether I can get rid of that yet or not, or whether the bailiffs are going to come and get me. Um, other than that, how about that? The room's a lot tidier. It makes it a lot more pleasant space to be in. That bike is going to come out of there. I need to build that. That'll be in a video in the next few days. I'm going to do that very shortly, though. I need to get my Armour Wells flag back up because that is main motivation. Um, I have got big plans for this wall, and I have had plans for that wall, but I haven't got around to doing it. I thought I'd do it in the summer, but I haven't. And I've been holding off of doing a pain cave full tour talk through until I got that wall sorted, and we're now nearly a year on from me building the pain cave, so I perhaps I need to get that sorted. Anyway, uh, that is it for today's video, so that's pretty much all I've done today, but that is it for recovery, isn't it? I can't always do all this training, but I'm going to ease back into it tomorrow, back in the office tomorrow as well, so maybe a lunchtime run, if not, definitely an easy spin in the evening. I uh, hope you're all well, hope you're recovering well if you did out on the weekend, or if you did uh, that other triathlon in Bolton, that easy 70.3, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, that was a good race, and I will see you tomorrow at 4pm. Thank you very much for watching.